I'm so terrified right now. Good morning. It is just before 6 a.m. We are high in the Eastern Sierras and we have got a hair raising adventure for you guys today because we're going to attempt to climb Cloud Ripper, which is exactly as intimidating as its name suggests. Yeah. So most people who do Cloud Ripper take a pretty standard out and back route from the Vagabond Peak side. But legend has it that you can actually ascend the face of Cloud Ripper if you can find the correct chute up the goalie. There's multiple different chutes. If you take the wrong one, you will get into a very dangerous class five plus climb, which we do not want to do. But if we can find the right chute, it should keep us at around a class three climb all the way to the summit, which will then allow us to loop it back over to Vagabond, making a pretty epic loop all the way down. It should be absolutely incredible if we can find our way. Yeah. If we can't, there will definitely be trouble. So let's just uh, do our best. Let's go. Oh my God, you guys, we are getting our first full on views of Cloud Ripper Whoa. and it is absolutely terrifying. Well, you can see where we're going now. All the way up there to Cloud River. Well, we are now leaving the safety of the lake and we're gonna go attempt this bad boy. Try to find the proper chute. It feels like it's just an endless expanse of boulders. So we're climbing and hopping our way up this boulder field to try to get to the base of Cloud River. Well, we've had our first fall in the talus field. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just, I- Oh my God, that looks bad. I stepped on a big, very sturdy looking boulder and it just completely went. I mean, just- Wow. Wow. And it was really scary actually. I just had a, a nasty fall backwards. Mosquito. Thanks, Mosquito. Okay, guys, we have made it up that epically long boulder and talus field. That was hard. Oh my gosh. It wow. was way steeper than it looks on camera. Trust mm -hmm. me on that. Mm -hmm. But the views are incredible from up here yeah. and we are at the base. Yeah, so we just have to make sure we find the right line. If we can find it, we should be good. If we don't find it, it's gonna be trouble. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous too, but yeah. wish us luck, guys. I, yeah. This is gonna be an epic ascent if we can oh do it. Oh my gosh. All right, so we think it's definitely the right time to put on these helmets. We don't know exactly how much loose rock and stuff is in this chute, but better safe than sorry. Take your time. Oh, shit. You got it. You got it, baby. Hands. Foothold or handholds? Three points of contact. Yes, you got it. Good. You keep on trying. And do you see? Okay guys, we've reached the real decision time now. I'm nervous. So we're at the base of what we think is the Y and all of our beta says to take the right 
fork of the Y, but there's a couple different options here. It's very confusing. So I think we have a line. We're gonna veer to the right and just see where that takes us, right? And, and see what happens. And if we have to come back down, if we get clear. We have to retrace ourselves, yeah. we'll retrace. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. That was dicey AF, not class three. That was class five. So I'm a little worried we might be on the wrong shoot, but that was, there were a couple of moves there that were not exactly class three moves. Okay, so the gully we came up was not the gully from our beta. And I don't know, I hope you guys can see how steep it's been. Um, we are altitude wise getting somewhat close to the top. We just don't know if we're gonna get up there and get cliff bonked and not be able to make it. I'm so terrified right now. But the good news is we've really worked hard on our climbing skills. Yeah. They've come in very handy so far and hopefully we'll be able to use them to get ourselves to where we need to be. It's gonna be fine. Can we do this? Yeah, we can do it. I hope we don't have to come down this because it's gonna be really hard if we do. Well, Adam has been doing a great job just getting us one foot in front of the other, finding ways to go. We don't know how much further we have to the top. It's been pretty gnarly climbing. Baby. What? Baby. What? I see the other side. No. No, are you serious? I am 100% No, 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 no. Baby. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, are you serious? Oh my God. Ah, can we get over to Cloud River from here? You better believe oh, it's gonna be a ridge Oh my traverse. God. That was terrifying. I'm so happy. So happy. How stoked are you right now? I am so pumped. Ah. I am so proud of us oh for working so hard on our climbing just in case something like this happened. Yes. We came up just a couple hundred yards away from the Cloud Ripper Summit. So now we're just going to traverse along this ridge line. Okay, you guys, Elise does not know what I'm looking at here, but you do. That is the M F and Summit box. We're here. She does not know this traverse has been scary for her. So when she gets over here, she's gonna be very, very happy. How you doing, baby? terrifying it's okay the worst is over trust me we can traverse ridges we've done it a million okay. times you thought that there might be a face that we have to climb down on that side there might be some downs but i'm telling you we are the masters of the ridge traverse you think we can do it we can do it i promise you okay. i'm so nervous right now can i show you something no no. That is the summit <laughs> box! <laughs> yes! I'm gonna cry, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, these are tears of joy, you guys. Tears of joy. Oh my god. That oh. is the freaking summit box, baby. Oh my god. No way. Summit box. I did not think that was gonna come together for us. Woo! Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my oh. god. You guys, I cannot wait to show you the 360 from the top of freaking Cloud Ripper. Oh my God. This is insane. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh.
and Adam once again, feeling the irresistible urge to find the most vertiginous snack spot. This is it, guys. <laughs> I think you definitely found it. I know you know how much I love to bring those of you who can't do this kind of thing along on these journeys. And this for me has been my favorite one ever. It was just so challenging. And I want you to know that you guys were all with us on this one. I know most of you won't ever do this, but you're with us. Thank you so much for commenting, letting us know that you're inspired by us because you inspire us right back and help us have the courage to challenge ourselves like this. Really, probably my happiest moment ever at the top of a summit. Well, that was one of our favorite summits ever. Yes. And now stick with us because this ridge traverse over to Vagabond Peak looks pretty gnarly. And then after that, we have miles and miles of boulders to down climb, but we'll end it with a jump in an icy lake. Yes, we will. Yes. Let's go. Let's do this. We think that peak in the distance right there is Vagabond. What do you think? I think that's it. So really we just have to come down this boulder field and then up the other boulder field and we're back on it, I believe. Okay. Well, amidst all the joy of reaching the Cloud Ripper Summit, we completely forgot about the fact that you actually have to down climb and then ascend this crazy steep boulder field to get up to the summit of Vagabond. Okay, the great news is we made it to the summit of Vagabond Peak and it is spectacular up here. The bad news is it freaking started raining. It's raining. Right as we got up to the top. We gotta go. And it was not forecast. We don't even see the clouds where the rain's no. coming from, but this stuff wet we is gonna to be go. dicey and gnarly. We gotta get off oh the summit. God. So we are gonna go. We Hopefully go. before the rock we have to down climb gets oh too God. slick. Let's go. Let's go. Well, thankfully, that little cloud burst stopped, but it was just enough to make the rock slick. So we are going down carefully, but as quickly as possible before any more rain gets a chance to grab us. This down climb is really challenging, mostly just because it takes every single last ounce of your energy and attention not to fall. But we have our eyes on Green Lake and we're just gonna keep slowly moving down to Green Lake. Oh my gosh, you guys, I see grass. I've never been so happy to see grass. We did it! Ah, let's make our way to Green Lake. Green Lake, Green let's go! Lake. Well, what do you know? The sun came out just in time for me to jump into Green Lake. Yes! <laughs> our <laughs> ritual is intact. I'm actually kind of scared. You got this, baby. I got it? Yes. One, uh -huh. two, three! That was awesome. Oh my gosh. Woo. Wow. Woo. There is nothing like jumping into an icy cold lake after the hardest hike of your life. You're right about that. Woo. Well done, baby. Wow. Well, that was definitely the wildest adventure of our lives. But oh my God, you guys, we feel so amazing. It's true. Sometimes fear just adds that little extra something mm -hmm. and we just have endorphins going or something, but we feel absolutely fantastic. And we're so happy that we got to take you guys along with us today. And it's just so awesome that we get to share all of these crazy adventures with you guys. It's really an honor. And I hope you guys loved this one. We sure did. See you next time. Running higher, running faster, going farther. Two together, living.